Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Macau Reviews. That's right, we are going to start doing movie reviews. We're not going to do like, I don't know if we're going to go back and, you know, do some older movies, but I'm definitely going to do new releases, especially since the theaters hopefully will, uh, well, will play the newer movies soon. They're already playing a couple newer movies, but I mean the big movies. But um, I'm going to start doing reviews. I'm going to do stuff on, you know, just different different kinds of movies. Some of these movies you might not be familiar with. Some of them you may be familiar with. Um, I'm going to try more new releases, but I might go back and talk about a favorite movie of mine. There is a couple things to my reviews that I want you all to know. I know some of you all have griped um, about me eating on camera. So every review is going to have me eating dinner. And today, guys, it is Swedish meatballs. That's right, Swedish meatballs. So, yeah, you're going to have to deal with it. I don't know what else to tell you. Also, we're going to have a little bit of black cherry water. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, I am going <laughs> to... I probably shouldn't be eating while doing a movie review, but I don't care. I'm hungry. Okay. So, our first review, and let me talk about the rating system. 8 out of 10, you know, 5 out of 10, it's, it's just... I can't even do that. You know, it's, it's a hard enough for people when they do like a uh, 1 through 5 or 0 through 5. I don't get it. So I'm going to have to put decimals. Well, I'm not doing decimals. What I'm going to do is a score from 0 to 100. And that is your grade. It's like getting a grade in, you know, school or something. So today's review is the Snyder Cut Justice League that recently came out. And I gotta say this. It's on HBO Max, if you guys are wondering. I'm not gonna give spoilers until I tell you. And then I'm gonna give spoilers. I'm not gonna do that with every single movie, but I am gonna do it with this one. Because there's some stuff I wanna talk about, but don't worry. I will warn you ahead of time. It will be towards the end of the video where I do spoilers. Just in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I know a lot of people don't have HBO Max. Um, I think it's worth it. But I can't I can't rec uh, I can't tell you guys to get it because, you know, I don't know if you would like it or not. It just depends on the person. But if you guys don't know, they've been putting a lot of movie exclusives um, here lately on HBO Max due to the whole pandemic thing. And yes, I will say that word on this channel. Um, so, ever since that's happened, they've been releasing movies and you can watch them from home. Now, some movies I think are better in the theater. This one would be one. But this one, I, I'm i not for sure, but I think it was more exclusive to just HBO Max and not the theater. Some of them share the theater and HBO. But I think this one was just on Max. I could be wrong. Um, so don't quote me on that. But anyway. Uh, they put out the first Justice League a couple years ago. I don't know exactly the year. And it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't a terrible film. But it wasn't great. And especially when you have Marvel as your rival, you got to be great. And it was a forgettable film. It really was. The story, the action was okay in it, in Josh Whedon's version. But the CGI, the story, uh, just, it didn't have that vibe that I wanted, kind of like the Avengers did. So, it didn't have that at all. You know, uh, Cyborg. I didn't even, I don't know a lot about Cyborg. I've watched Teen Titans before, but I didn't know how he became Cyborg. I figured he was like an experiment, which I was a little bit right on that. But I didn't know why he had to go through that. So in that, in the original Justice League, the theatrical release, we, we saw where basically 
we didn't see a lot about Cyborg. He was more of the guy, the the technical guy, the tech guy. And uh, he really didn't do a lot. And the same thing goes with the Flash. So I'm going to start off with the pros. And then, uh, well, I'll start off with the negatives I have about this movie. I have very few negatives. I enjoy this movie a lot. Um, I thought it's a lot better than the original. The And after seeing this movie, I don't even claim the original. The original was decent for me the first time around. But after seeing this movie, I, I definitely put the original lower on the totem pole. So... The, let's start about the uh, about with the Snyder Cut negatives. Now, I at first I did have a problem with the the aspect ratio. I know, like I'm not into all that stuff. I love movies, but I'm not into the, all that stuff. But every time when you're watching on a flat screen TV, like you notice it, you notice it, especially with the older movies and stuff. But in this case, you know, at first I didn't like it the first five minutes or so, and then, like, as the movie went along, I didn't even notice it there, which blew my mind. Uh, kind of like the four-hour runtime, I didn't notice after a while. It was so good. So, usually I do gripe about that stuff, but I thought it worked. I thought it showed, and like they were, they were saying, the, the bottom... Of what you're seeing, the top of what you're seeing, top and bottom of what you're seeing, you see more from that range instead of this range. So, I thought it worked. But let's talk about the negatives. You thought that was going to be a negative for me, but it worked. Okay, um, just to start off, and there's very few negatives, and then we're going to go to the pros. Um, some of the CGI was a little rough. Oh my goodness, I almost choked to death there. Trying to review and eat at the same time. I know, I'm unprofessional. I don't care. Some of the CGI wasn't that great. Um, I thought the CGI, uh, like in certain parts, um, there's there's a scene especially um, during a certain battle where it's just some random guy. It's not even one of the characters. Um, and it, it, looked, it looked like a video game. Uh, a couple times there. It was mainly in that battle scene. And maybe a few other times, but uh, that one particular scene, I remember, it's like one of, uh, I don't know if, if it's one of Aquaman's people, or it's some guy with Aquaman's people. I, I, I don't know. I kind of zoned out a little bit there. So, the CGI was a little bit rough there. Not, not, not too much to complain about. Um... Also, I'm not on board with this how the the whole thing with Flash on how he like speeds. It kind of messes with my eyes. You know, I don't mind a lot of flashes and movies and stuff cuz I mean, I can watch the Avengers or other movies and they got tons of stuff like that, but him going uh, with the blue light thing that's going on around with Flash kind of messed with my eyes a little. I'm not going to lie. I don't I don't like how it looks. I've seen Flash the show, and I believe it looks different, and I like that a lot better. Also, maybe a Quicksilver type of thing. Uh, I I prefer better than how Flash. You know, I, it looks it looks good when you're watching it in a distance. When that blue light starts beaming in your eyes, I just don't like it. I I, I don't like it. That's a, like I said, these are minor gripes, and um. One of my biggest gripes was there's a couple times, and I know Zack Snyder's known for doing this, but the slow motion. I like slow motion. Slow motion is okay, but he does it way too much. But, I mean, that's a little bit of gripe. Um, that The main scene I can think of is when Flash is trying to, and it deals with Flash once again, where he's trying to, he's he's trying to like touch something and it's gonna bring a lot of like impulse or something like that. It was just way too slow. I mean, it's just slow motion on that was just like I, I was just just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I had a couple issues with the slow motion. Most of the time it does work, but it was usually with Flash where I didn't like it. And that I'm I'm still not a big scene. 
a fan of that scene with I like Wonder Woman a lot, but the scene where she's stopping the thing in the bank. It's just just something off about that. Um, but those are little complaints. Uh, but like I said, I, I like slow motion's okay, but I don't like it used every... Like, he uses it a lot, which that's his style. And it works in 300, it works in Watchmen. But certain scenes, I just don't think the slow motion goes as good as other scenes. There was some great shots in this. Don't get me wrong, and I look at that, I know. But don't get me wrong, there was some great shots in that uh, movie. But a couple times, the slow motion was just way too much for me. And then, this is a more of a me being just a jerk. Um, more than a critic. Um, when I'm rating this movie. I just can't take Willem Dafoe with long hair. Nah. It's just not working for me. It's just not working for me. Like I said, this is just me being a jerk, okay? You know, every time I see that man, I, I just, I was like, I think of William Osborne. That's all I think of. <laughs> and he should be the Joker. He would be a great Joker. Willem Dafoe would be a great Joker. I think he's Aquaman's dad. I'm just not, I'm not digging it, man. I'm not digging the C Will, Willem Dafoe. I'm just not digging it. I'm sorry. I'm being a hater here. I'm just absolutely being a hater. <laughs> so those are the negatives. The other another big negative I can think of is are we going to see a sequel? Because this if this we're not going to see a sequel. This was the biggest tease ever. Because this was a great movie. So let's get to the pros. I'm going to say this. when uh, As for Ben Affleck as Batman, I thought he did okay in Batman vs. Superman. I don't think he, I, I'm not an Affleck hater. He's the second best Batman. He's the second. They gave him more. I felt they gave him more in this movie. They gave him more in this movie. He's a great Bruce Wayne. Bell's still my number one. Bell is always going to be... Uh, Clooney is my dead last. I'm a better Batman than Clooney. Heck, this chair right here, if he puts on a Batman suit, better than Clooney. Um, but I'm going to put Affleck at number two now. I'm going to put Affleck at number two. They gave him they gave him more to do. I feel like the... Um, and maybe I don't remember it as good or whatever. But they gave him a lot more to work with than before. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, as for a couple other things that I liked was Cyborg and Flash and what they did with their story. If you guys watch the original version and then watch the Snyder Cut, they cut so much out of Flash and Cyborg. I love Cyborg now. I never knew what he went through. I mean, his care. I'm not going to tell you, but his character development in this movie is excellent. They really did his character justice. Snyder, no wonder there was a whole conflict between him and the original director. Um, but the whole, um, the whole backstory of Cyborg was just amazing. I felt bad for the guy. I did, and he played more than the tech guy. So I, I liked his role in it a lot. Um, another pro, um, is Flash. Flash had a lot more of a back, you got to see a lot more of Flash. He, he, he did a lot more jokes. They work, they were solid. Um, and you, that scene where you probably saw it in the trailer where he saved somebody. We'll just keep it at that. Cause I don't want to give it away a lot. It's really funny and it's really good and it's really cool. And I just like everything about it. He's probably my least favorite of the whole Justice League because I just can't, this, this, how he does his thing is just, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been a big Flash fan in general. I've never been a big Aquaman in general, but I think Aquaman's a cool character now. He used to not be. 
But I think they have made Aquaman pretty cool. But I, I still like Flash decent. I liked what they did with his character in this. They gave him more of a storyline. And it was a lot of fun. He cracked some really funny jokes. Uh, Batman definitely had the best joke at, uh, near the end of the movie. And I'll talk about that on the spoiler part. So, that's crossed out. Batman, Cyborg. Hope this doesn't explode. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I should have known! Stop! Goodness gracious, you gotta watch these things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I know, this is an unprofessional video. I don't care. I just don't care. Let me get a, uh, another one of these noodles. And then I'll, I'll continue one. I'm sorry. Okay. So, let's talk about uh, Steppenwolf. Wow! Yes! Steppenwolf definitely was a pro of this movie. They made him look not like a video ca uh, game character. And if he did look like a video game character, it was definitely a, a vile one, man. He looked pretty frightening. And they did a lot better. If you guys look up the comparisons on uh, like the side-by-side -side images of the... Um, the uh, theatrical release of Justice League and the Snyder Cut, there is a humongous difference, obviously. So definitely um, looked way different than usual. And he was more... They gave him a little bit more of a backstory. However, maybe I missed it, but I don't know why... Or how he fell dark side in the beginning. And how he's trying to make up for his amends or whatever. They Maybe I missed it, but it didn't really explain it. And he brought up his family and I wanted to know a little bit more about that. But, you know, he was a frightening villain. Uh, he had more emotion to him. And more of a purpose. And he looked better, too. So he didn't look like that video game CGI... You know, he, he wasn't bad before, but he, he was a lot better this time. So, Steppenwolf, definitely. I like the interactions better than the original movie. I thought they functioned better as a team. All uh, all the players here. I thought they, you know, they had a little bit back and forth. There was a scene that I will talk about in the spoiler part. Uh, that was a lot of fun with the back and forth there. And, you know... Like I said, they gave Flash and Cyborg more to do here. They uh, And they built their characters better. So that, that helped the whole team part. Because you cared about them more. Okay, now this was rated R. And it had, you know, <laughs> there was some language in it. I, I thought at one part there was a really good scene with, with a certain word in it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but... Um, I thought it was a really good scene, though. There was some blood in this movie, and it really worked. It really worked. Uh, it didn't need, uh, you know, you didn't, usually you don't have blood in, like, superhero movies or stuff like that, but I thought it worked. It was made Steppenwolf more menacing, and, um, you know, there, and there's also some other big surprises, which I'll talk more in the spoilers. So, before I spoil this and go to the spoilers, I am going to give the Snyder Cut. Overall, I loved this movie. I thought it was way better. It made the other movie look like garbage, which it, now looking at it, it is. And I'm glad I didn't buy it on Blu-ray because uh, I want the Snyder Cut. The four-hour runtime felt like two hours, maybe two and a half hours. It, it, it was like Lord of the Rings for me. You know, it didn't feel like it was really long. It, I mean, it didn't. So... I'm going to give it on a grading scale. If I was giving this, if it just submitted the movie as a test, 
I am going to give this movie an 86. So 86 out of 100, that is a B. Um, it's like a uh, mid-range, a little bit to the higher side of the B. But I'm going to give it an 86 out of 100. I was going to say an 85, but I thought I'd be a little bit generous and give it an 86. So, and um, yeah, so we're going to talk about spoilers now. And this is your warning. If you have not seen the movie, please leave. You will not file any sort of lawsuit against me if I spoil this movie for you after this moment. So first of all, I I was talking about the scene that I love between the uh, um, the scene I loved, and that was when they were digging up Superman, Flash, and Cyborg. I thought that scene was hilarious, especially what he said about Wonder Woman. That was hilarious. Um, I like how this uh, had Martian Manhunter in it. Uh, I thought that was a really cool addition. I have I'm a big Martian Manhunter fan. I think he's really cool, you know. You know, and the whole fact that they were going to set up the tables with the Justice League, and you know, another thing I liked was uh, Dark Side. You got to see Dark Side a little bit. I liked how they killed Steppenwolf off, and I like how Dark Side it was right in front of his face. And it made it so interesting. I mean, and I like, you know, I'm not a big on Lex Luthor, but I like how they brought the bald Lex Luthor in and Deathstroke. Deathstroke arrived. So that was, that was fun, <laughs> seeing Deathstroke again. Wait a second, we've never seen him again, but seeing Deathstroke was interesting. Is what I'm going to say. That's the better word for it. So. So we see Deathstroke. Uh, looks like he's going to. He makes like a deal with Lex Luthor. Or something. But let's talk about this. The scene that everyone's talking about. And that is the. The dream sequence. Where. Batman. Sees the Joker. It's Mira. It's Batman. The Joker. Um, Deathstroke's there. I, I I was instantly like, what? This doesn't even make sense. And I'm trying to think if... I think Flash may have been there. And... Something bad happened. And Darkseid probably did something. And they keep on saying the key is Lois Lane. So I'm assuming Lois Lane's dead. And that makes Superman snap. Or something. And this is a premonition of the future. And I thought it was really cool. Joker and Batman had a little back and forth. I thought Leto did a good job this time. He had more to work with. Better writing. I liked the shot, too, where you couldn't really see his face. You just hear him talking, man. That was a great shot by Snyder. And, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And seeing Martian Manhunter, especially. I, I've been dying to see him for quite some time. I love the scene with Flash where um, the, I never knew that Cyborg was in a car wreck. I felt really bad for him that Cyborg was in a car wreck and his his mom passed along with him. I felt bad for the guy. I really did. Um, and how his dad wasn't there for him. And they and, he, and then his dad... That was another issue I had with the movie. And um, His dad dying I, I, in the movie, I felt like it could have... He I guess he marked where they were. Where Steppenwolf and the crew were. But, like, it's it's like, really? It'd be like it'd be a bigger sacrifice than that. Than just giving the coordinates of where this guy is. I guess it is, well, it is a big deal. But, I mean, it'd be like he would destroy the box. And the box would never get unleashed. But, you know, I guess they couldn't do that. I don't understand. You know, I didn't understand the boxes really well. You know, it's just like, kind of, like, the Infinity Stones make more sense. I'm not even a Marvel fanboy. I'm just like, I like them both. But, but I just thought, but it still was a great movie, like I said. So, great movie overall. 
and I highly recommend it. Like I said, the four-hour runtime does not feel like four hours. goes by quick, you know. goes by really quick. It's kind of like one of those Lord of the Rings deals where, you know, it's so entertaining that you don't notice the time. On certain movies, you'll notice the time if it's not entertaining. These noodles are great. So that's my review. I'm going to give it an 86 out of 100, though. Definitely 86 out of 100. And also, um, to talk about the Joker, it looks like Batman may have killed Harley Quinn. And I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to go back to Batman and the Joker. I would like to see Ben Affleck as Batman more. I'm all for Robert Pattinson being a Batman. He, he's a really good actor. But I want to see Affleck now since they put this movie out. I want to see definitely uh, Cavill come back as Superman. And Gal Gadot definitely as Wonder Woman. Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I want to see all of them come back. I don't think Cyborg's coming back due to the conflict issue. And he was in the dream, dream sequence. So I don't know how they're going to do it. They need to restore Snyder's vision. The they do, and I've seen that hashtag. They definitely do. It's a shame that he couldn't finish the movie, and um, and they could have that in the theater because that would have been way better. That was a way better movie, and I thought it really, you know, with the minor complaints that I had, and you know, just me being a little bit biased in certain parts. You know, eighty six out of a hundred is a great score. That's definitely a movie I'd buy on Blu Ray for sure. That's good. Good water. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review of this movie. Hope you enjoyed me eating my Swedish meatballs. And I hope you all enjoyed um, me drinking my water. Black cherry water, by the way. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, black cherry water. So next time, uh, since some of you all love when I eat on the live stream, I'll make sure to eat again. And talk about another movie. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, the review that I did. And I'll do some more if you guys did. Um, let me know what I should add to my reviews. I'm all for uh, constructive criticism. That is completely fine with me. So I guess I'll see you guys later. 86 out of 100 for the Snyder Cut. That was a fantastic film. Definitely the the vision that I wanted for the Justice League. I think they should bring some of these guys back, man. It, it, Cyborg was great, man. I, I don't know if they're going to bring him back. And uh, Affleck is great as Batman. So, yeah, there's a couple concerns I have if they're going to do another one. If not, you know, this is just a big tease. So, but anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.